Alright, we have a Asus UX360. And let's see if we can revive this computer. So this came from another technician. Um, this is the way it came in. So M3, I guess, CPU. It's an Asus, one of the ultra books. Daughter board. Oh, charging port. Hmm? Charging port is removed, okay. Alright, I uh, really don't know the history. So that's the battery, speaker. It's what is this? Doesn't look new. There's a bit of heat. Not sure. I'm not concerned about that yet. Okay. Problem with this board, there is a missing track. Um, the best way to show you this problem. One sec. Okay, so this is the iFixit website, and they, I believe they have a high resolution of the motherboard here. So let's have a look. Area that we're interested in is. this part here this area here okay so we can see that looks like a capacitor here and that's empty so a capacitor is blown I think these two tracks are the same so these guys so we're gonna put a uh, capacitor here and see if we can get the board turning on okay now I didn't know about the charging port let's have a look uh, maybe we can just run a wire for testing for now ground 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 so that's our main 19 volt rail let's give this board a, a bit of cleanup I've cleaned that area a little bit before Look at that IT chip. How are you going to program that? Interesting. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll run a wire first here. I don't know the status of that DC jack. Um, so I'll just do that on the microscope. Very quickly. I'll get a jumper wire. Should be easy.
Okay, so we got our wire. Now let's see. Let's get our ground and whatnot, all the other things going in properly. Okay, so we're going to use. We don't need to do power injection. Okay, I'm not sure what the status of the board is, so I'm gonna be a little careful, be a little bit cautious. So it's not taking any amps, which is good. Now some serious voltage coming in. Well, it broke off. Let me reconnect that. Okay. All right, 19 volts. And just check voltage is coming in properly. Good, 19 volts is in the system. Okay, we can cut power. Uh, what I shall do is Just cut the amps so it's easy to turn it back on next time. Okay. Now I'm gonna put a capacitor there. What kind of capacitor we use? No idea. Let's bring in a stoner board. By the way, if you bring, um, why don't we just check the voltage there, see if there is any voltage. Maybe it's a high volt, like 19 volts. Then we can try and steal a uh, capacitor around the 19 volt area here. Okay. Yeah, maybe this part only turns on when there is power and uh, let's just check continuity mode which part is ground so top part is ground power is here probably comes from the MOSFETs okay and I'm assuming that may have something to do with the backlight so it pr it's probably a high voltage Let's pick something around here off this board. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit more solder there, flux and solder, and then take one of these guys off, put it there, and see how we go.
and just check that capacitor that I've just pulled out has no short yep, it looks good Jesus. My hands are shaking, it's that time of the day. I think that's done, let me just check, no short Ok, good Now I don't know where the fan for this is Let's see if it charges battery. And where is the LED indicators? I think they're here. So let's collect this. Right, okay. They have to be annoying. So it looks like it's on the bottom. Okay. Let's connect this. the battery has to come out okay all right Let's see if we get a charging light There was a sound, I don't know what it was. Maybe it was just plastic, I'm not sure. Ok, 
Okay, we got 19 volts, no amp being taken, so it's probably not charging the battery. What the hell is going on? So the light indicates we have, you know, 3.3, possibly 5 watts. <sighs> Shit. Okay. 5 volts is present. How about here at the battery? And the power button is maybe this one? So no change in status. Okay. So I don't really know what's going on. Let's see what other parts were this case. Got a keyboard. Power button is not on the keyboard, it's definitely on the side. You got a screen. screen will connect there. So why don't we plug the screen in and just get an idea of what's happening. What's the what's the voltage of the battery? Let's just check that quickly. Really? It looks like a dead battery, okay. Okay. Let's isolate this battery completely. It can be a problem for later to solve. Okay. Let's plug in the power. So SSD will go here. So this is power. So let's see if we got um, 3.2 or 3.3 .3 on the power button. Hmm, does the power button work? Yeah, it does work. So you can see 3.2 dropping to zero. Now it could be because we don't have a fan, I am not sure. Okay, so let's cut the power. Remove the LCD.
Oh, something's missing there. That looks like a very complex chip. So, why don't we have a look at this area under I fix it? So we're looking at <sighs> so two RAM chip, two NAND chips. This guy here, that's the chip I'm interested in. Mm. Plus, is there a coil missing? Um, no, that part is empty in my one too. So I'm missing this chip. What the hell is that chip? It looks quite similar so that one sorry that one there looks quite similar to to this one here they look quite similar this one and that one okay Yeah, see so this one has that logo too, and that one has that logo too. Okay, so we know the chip we need, yeah? So let's see what that chip is. Being around the coil and some caps, to me it looks like a PWM, Power Management Controller. Let's have a look under the microscope. Possibly without that we're not going to be able to fix this board so this is the is that the one yeah this is the other one can't see anything Okay. 
take an image of that okay that's better and just take a photo and we can have a look at it in detail Looks like it's a chip from Toshiba. Okay. That's it there. And where the hell is the iPad? No idea. Okay. iPad has also disappeared. Let's have a look at this. BQ. Oh, okay, it just popped up. 27 24780S. Okay. Hmm, Texas Instruments, sorry. Okay, BQ. Alright, so. Yeah, I see. It is an important chip. Hmm, okay. Battery charge controller. So maybe that's why the battery wasn't charging. Hybrid power boost. Sounds so cool. One to four cell hybrid power boost mode battery charge controller. Okay. Very interesting. So maybe it supplies more power when the CPU needs more power. Okay, maybe that's the turbo boost. It's not going to be fun soldering this guy, hey? It should be alright, we should be able to do. Alright, so we'll order this and then um, hopefully continue making the video sometime later on. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.